What's going on, y'all? It's Kyle Corbin, and I'm gonna show y'all how to do a swing 360. Let's go. Ooh. Step number one, small swing 360. Calm down, you don't gotta go crazy and do try to do the biggest one ever. Do a really small swing, bro, just, just watch. After you've done the small swing 360, do that a lot, like a lot of times. Do it to where you can land it, just like the one you just saw, over and over and over. Control the swing. Now we're gonna go into the legs. All right, this is the part that everybody wanna know. I'm gonna be showing you the left spin, uh, Y'all can just uh, figure it out the other way if you spin the other way, but I'm gonna show you the left way. When we're in the swing, we're gonna hit the peak of the front swing. We're gonna hit the peak of the back swing. That's the point where you stop moving forward and the point where you stop moving back. When you stop moving forward, you don't need to do, you don't need to do all that. Like that's just extra, like calm down. That's not really what's going on. When you hit the peak, drop your right hip down or your left hip straight to the right. And then you're just gonna straddle your legs like this. So, you should be in a position like this. This is what it will look like with a small swing. So, peak, 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 drop, hit. So now that you understand, when you get to the peak of the front swing, whether it's a big swing or a small swing, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. When you get to the peak, straddle, straddle your legs. <laughs> I got hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> you get the peak, boom, straddle. Now, you're going to kind of naturally let your body unwind. So when you get to this point, it's crucial. Come here, come here, step in closer, okay? Boom, you're straddled. When you get here, this is where it gets crucial, all right? This leg is coming back, boom. You're kicking to a 180, a 180, not a 360. 180, the right foot, should meet you here. So you just have 180 to spin. So when you're doing it, it should be here, drop, hit. You should be standing up when you spin. So in full speed, it looks like this. Peak, drop, hit. We already understand. You hit the peak of the front swing, you're gonna drop that hip, straddle your legs. When you come back, let your body, cause you're gonna be in this position, let your body unwind, kick the left leg back, bring the right leg forward, and let your feet meet together in a straight line. So you should be here in a straight line, spinning, boom, to a catch. Now, we're gonna talk about the hands and the arms. This is the most simple part that people overcomplicate. This is the most simple part that people overcomplicate. This is the most simple part that everyone overcomplicates. All right, your hands are only used for swinging. Your arms are only used for swinging. They shouldn't be used for nothing else when you're doing 360 except for swinging and catching the ball. Every time, you should be this far from the ball. If you're landing like this, you're doing something wrong. If you're landing too close, you're pulling. If you're landing too far, you let go too early, okay? You're gonna have to play around. You're gonna have to get too far sometimes. You're gonna have to land too close sometimes. It's okay if you land too close or too far, but you need to test that out. That's for you. Everyone is different. Everyone's got a different body size, so it's gonna be different for everyone. But you gotta play around with it. Too much, you get too close. Too early, you'll be too far. We're gonna use the small bar real quick to show you guys what the hands are gonna be doing. How, like when to let go or how should I let go? Should it be one and one? Nah, simplify the tricks. Don't think that it's just some crazy trick. No matter what trick it is, just. Do your best to simplify the trick for yourself, okay? When you're swinging, boom, and you're about to 360. Your hands, one, you should be extended outwards, but your hands should just slide off. Both of them should just be able to slide off the bar. When you do that, if you hold on too much, you'll get a little close, but rarely will you get so close that you're this close. If you're extended, always be extended. You're throwing, boom, out here, okay? If you, if you let go too early, you're just gonna land on your feet a little far away. You might fall on your side a little bit. You'd be all right. Don't even worry about it, okay? So the hands are here. You kick, 
Slide off, bring the hands in, keep the chin over the shoulder, reconnect to the bar. Now, let's put it all together and see what it'll look like. Butter. <laughs> Quick tip, pay attention. When you're doing a 360, this is not what you should be doing. Do not pull. Do not try to 360 and pull before you hit your face on the bar or something like that. Something crazy. You don't gotta pull, don't calm down. It's not that serious. And that's how you do a 360. At least that's the fundamentals of doing a 360. And if you guys end up trying to do this 360, Tag us in a video. Tag anyone in a video. Tag your grandma in a video. You can tag your cousin. You can tag your auntie's cousin. Doesn't matter. We want to see it. Send us some clips. And uh, we'll try to help you from there as much as we can. But no promises because we love you. Bye. Oh, gosh. I'm running out of oxygen.